Alright ladies and gentlemen, this is a visual tour of Lansing and we're starting on Michigan Avenue. The famed Frandor is to the north. Now, okay, we have a moment to stop at this light. This is 127, 127 north and south. Connects 127 and old 27. Uh, a significant thing about this is the under the bridge project that was curated by LEAP as well as the Arts Council of Greater Lansing and this was done by Brian Whitfield uh, a few years back I don't exactly know what year this was finished but it's an art mural project that is lighted underneath the uh, bridge for 127 so this is the what they wanted to say was they wanted to bridge East Lansing to Lansing. Now to our left, we have the Hive and the People's Kitchen. The People's Kitchen started off as the Street Kitchen. The Hive is also where the Lansing Made Nook is. We have Max Bar we just passed. Famous Max Bar, known for music acts and sticking to the floor. Up on the right, we have El Oasis permanent food truck and then to the left of that is going to be Amanesar Mexicano I don't know how to pronounce that exactly we're passing the tattoo shop I've received a couple of tattoos from there uh, Barber Love and then we have some new developments uh, Gillespie Scott Gillespie has built some stuff to the left is the hot water works to the right is Arcadia for great barbecue and then this is the Avenue to the right everybody reads books and stuff and then the well-known green door known for uh, blues music so Michigan Avenue leads us to state's capital. To the left we have the Women's Center of Greater Lansing at 1712 and 1710 East Michigan Avenue. Uh, an organization that helps uplift women in their time of need. It's a nonprofit organization that does a lot of positive in uh, mid-Michigan. Now we're coming up, this person's driving slow because they're probably trying to figure out how to have lunch at Soup Spoon Cafe. Fantastic place that used to be a, started off as a soup and sandwich shop. And now it has breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and a full bar menu. And there's also Fabiano's Candies, a uh, long time staple of the uh, downtown. Now we're coming up to Sparrow Hospital. Why is this person, where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? Sparrow Hospital was founded in 1896 when it was the Women's Hospital Association that supported one doctor and a nurse out of a rented house. Then in 1910, uh, Lansing developer Edward W. Sparrow donated land on East Michigan Avenue near the Capitol and put in $100,000 to build the Capitol and it was opened in 1912. So this part is the oldest part, the part on the south side of the road uh, is relatively new. The new towers is here too and then the newest part is the Herbert Herman Cancer Center with its parking garage as well. So Sparrow at this time is the first hospital in Lansing and now the only Lansing-based hospital 
being that Ingham Medical was purchased by McLaren uh, a couple years ago. Pennsylvania Avenue, it's an artery, runs north and south, hits about north town, goes to South Lansing. I thought I heard a, that light was slow. Good goobly goop. Oh, there's an ambulance coming. I'm still going behind this very slow car. I don't know what they're doing. All right, I think I'm gonna have to come back and show you what's going on on the south side of the road because we have Stober's is very popular. Moriarty's is popular uh, with the peeps. We have the barber shop. We also have John Anthony Florist. That has been around for decades. And then this is one of the oldest businesses on Michigan Avenue, Young Brothers and Daily. I kind of forget, I forgot about uh, Liz's alterations. Clara's is now defunct it's not it's basically a parking lot now and then we have to say hi to our friends at traction the city rescue mission is here uh this corner space used to be a bar rum runners nonetheless uh, i think it's owned by a uh, local business owner now uh to the left we have the stadium district apartments and businesses uh, Big B Coffee, which started in Lansing. The Greater Lansing Convention and Visitors Bureau is in that building. And then we have Cooley Law School Stadium. Uh, 25 years in existence. So that was built 25 years ago. Home of the Lansing Lugnuts. And this is where you can get a really good view of the Capitol. Uh... About as long as the Lugnuts has been here has been Nuthouse Sports Bar, which is to the south of the road. Alive After Five is a uh, sign uh, produced by Lansing 501. To the right here we have the Lansing Center. I guess I should have had when that was built. This person's getting out of the car. Alright, we have the Lansing Center. Lots of activities here, and then we're going to be crossing the Grand River. We have the only hotel, the only remaining hotel in the downtown Lansing area is on our right. And then just beyond that is Tropo. They built that building. And then we have Tavern and Tap on the left. This is funny. The Balls of Lansing are still up, so the holiday tree is gone, but the holiday balls are still here, so Lansing's got four balls. Uh, they were recently fixed by a donation by some cool people. And then we have the Capitol. Oh, before we have the Capitol, we have pedestrian. Lansing City Hall is up to our right. Police Station, uh, Mayor's Office, City Assessor, Courthouses. So the first capital of Michigan was built in Detroit and then it was relocated to Lansing in 1847. They wanted to uh, develop the western portion of the state and then defend themselves against the British troops that were stationed in Windsor. I don't know what this pedestrian's doing. They're more looking than walking. You're doing more looking than walking. To the left we have George W. Romney State Office Building and then we have Boji Tower. Boji Tower is actually the tallest building in Lansing. It's a Pretty much a landmark how you can navigate where you are in the city. And then we're gonna we're gonna go back around Michigan Avenue to try to get some more visuals on what's on the south side of the road. Boji Group just bought this state office building, the Billy S. Farnham building. They just purchased that, so I don't know what they plan on doing with that. 
Well, there's a lot of uh, historic buildings here, but most of them, a lot of them are being used by state. <coughs> state workers and such. Uh, what other highlights? Davenport University just recently got its university accreditation a few years back. It used to be Davenport College. This is downtown, it's South Washington Square. Basically, downtown Lansing. We'll talk about that in a different video. We're going to come across across this grand parking lot. This is Grand Avenue. So we're one block south of Michigan Avenue. We're going to make a right hand turn. We're going to show you some things. That's the uh, accident fund building. Uh, it used to be the, uh, am I going to say this wrong? Border Water and Light owned that. Because it was on the river. So they used that. Some more state office buildings, Michigan Department of Corrections we just passed, state build, uh, state workers here in Chandler Plaza, if you're looking for a strip club that would be Omar's right here, then we have Bodie's Chop House, La Fee Gallery, that is the uh, Nut House Nut. <laughs> And then we're going to get a different view of the stadium district, apartment complex, as well as businesses on the first, first floor. I think that's about 15 years old, so that would be around uh, 2004. Lights green, people. There we go. Good job. All right. And then another view, I think you can see it through the, the car. Cooley Law School Stadium. I think they're going to rename that. It's been 25 years. Uh, speed limit's 30. You can do that. This is going to be a... I guess they're calling it Block 600. They're going to put up Meyer, so it's going to be the first grocery, what, grocery store uh, downtown. Now we get another view of Young Brothers and Daily. I'll have to put in the notes how long they've been in business. But it's one of the oldest business. And this is another view of John Anthony Flores. Very nice people. I don't know if the original owners are even still alive. Local flower shop. Just past Stober's. Uh, just up here on the right is a uh, whole lot glass company now the owner of that does a lot of positive work in uh, the area and she does a lot to help people uh, that have dealt with being sexually trafficked so the owners of that uh, business are very much community minded and doing good as well as for their business, as well as giving back to the community. So it's a local business that I'd encourage you to support if you have a windshield or vehicle glass issue. We're probably going to hit this red light. This, this person in front of me is doing a tour of speed. <laughs> so this is Sparrow Hospital again. There was some slight controversy when they built the walkway. They said people were people were upset because you couldn't get a clear view of the Capitol coming down Michigan Avenue. But it's uh, it kind of disappears. I mean, you can see it, but it's kind of lose it. On the right is the uh, Ronald McDonald House. Uh, I actually have a friend that had to utilize their facilities because their their baby was born premature so I'm very glad to have that here oh there you go all right so we're
cruising right along. So now we're heading back towards East Lansing, heading east on Michigan Avenue. Just give you a different view on the other side. There's Soup Spoon Cafe, Fabiano's. We're coming up. Uh, what is up here? Lots of changes. Uh, Papa John's is to the right. It's a local. Now this Papa John's is a local Papa John's. They actually had to sue to keep their name. They are not involved with the national chain at all. Tannen moved from Meridian Township to Lansing in the Kentucky, old Kentucky Fried Chicken. There's the Women's Center again. Liz's Alteration Shop. Uh, first African American woman, first black woman to be on Michigan Avenue, and uh, the longest standing black person to be on Michigan Avenue. She has a very rich history. Uh, Hot Water Works again, and then Capital City Grower Supply. Those are really nice people. We have indoor plants that can help you with that of all types. I have to mention Lansing Art Glass. Lansing Art Glass for all of your stained glass needs. They have things from sun catchers for a few bucks to getting custom built windows for your home or business. So that's a it's a cool plot place. That's where I learned to do stained glass. It's been a few years since I've been able to uh, do that. And then right in front of us you see 127. This is part of the reason why uh, we have the Lansing Made Nook in the Hive located at 2722 East Michigan Avenue. Because we're right off the highway. It's very convenient. Right on Michigan Avenue. Just a couple miles from Capitol, downtown, things that are happening. So thank you very much for taking that visual tour with me. Hope to see you again soon. As I go into the hive. Oh, uh, Earl Little. It has been said that that's the spot where Earl Little, or near the spot where Earl Little was hit by a trolley car. 1931, it said, is when he died. That is Malcolm X's father, Earl Little, was, uh, well, it was an, deemed an accident, but some people believed he was pushed in front of that trolley car. So that happened near Michigan Avenue and Detroit Street. All right, so that's your last little tidbit. Thank you very much. It's Metro Malik of Lancey Made. We appreciate you checking out our first tour of Lansing.